slight two, which isn't too bad. Get rid of the. There we go. That's better. But yeah. So last night I found out that my little brother is third watching um Naruto, and I only found that out because I was trying to watch a movie before going to bed, and it said that there's already two users. Using Netflix. One's a Chicago Med. Figured that's my parents. Then they see Naruto. Which it left me a little bit confused. Because I was watching a movie earlier. Then I logged off. And then, um... You know, logged back on. Tried to watch a movie before and It's like... Chicago Med. Naruto. And I was gonna try and watch it on my phone so I could lay down. I'm like, Naruto. Naruto. Did I leave Netflix open on my laptop? Check my laptop, turn this back on. It's like, no, I hit exit for Netflix. I check on my brother's account. I see Naruto, I'm like... So I text him and go, Oi! Are you watching Naruto? Yeah? Do you have a problem with it? I'm like, no, no, no. I sent him a gift of Naruto giving a thumbs up. He laughs. And I'm just like, one of us! One of us! One of us! He's, he started watching anime out of his own accord. He's only six episodes in. I'll have to check later to see where he's at. Because I told him to let me know what he thinks of it after a few arcs. There's a few arcs in season one. <laughs> so when I texted him, he was just getting to, um... The Land of Waves, so... The, uh, village hidden in the mist. Right, we are gonna do this. <laughs> but yeah, that, that makes me really excited that he's dipping his toes in anime. And he's starting off with a good one, too, because... Which either, um, no, because I did watch a little bit of Dragon Ball Z, but I didn't really get into it, um, so it's actually Bleach and Naruto that got me in the anime. So, seeing him watch an anime that got me in the anime has me really happy and excited. Yeah, if he likes it and he gets through those first nine seasons, I might have to get him a Crunchyroll account. Though I don't know if he's gonna like the sub. Um, amphitheater. That's the thing. I don't know if he would watch it in sub. Because Shippuden's not on Netflix at the moment, aside from the movies. I'm gonna try and see if I can find him a couple CDs. Or not CDs, DVDs. Though he doesn't probably have a thing. Mm -hmm. Cause a lot of laptops nowadays don't have CD players. Mine don't, you have to get an external one, um. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, the problems. Yeah. I can't wait for him to get to the exam arc. That's gonna be good. Okay, let's get back into it anyways. Enough yapping about my little brother. Um, how 
fair to you with training amethyst for my part i had some success in uncovering the identity of our mystery attacker we knew that our assailant was capable of summoning e3 eg so i pursued the records of past ex expeditions for those who claim to have triumphant against the lord of the inferno one of these victorious primal hunters there were eight names listed as present whereabouts unknown after eliminating eliminating unlikely candidates based on race and gender i was left with but a single name tristan assuming the records are accurate this year was once registered as a soldier of the immortal flames and how the man came by his skills as a summoner or why he sought to kill us however i remain woefully ignorant nevertheless i have witnessed him who used the art of summoning for casual cruelty and that yeah i cannot Round. Countenance? I have no cool idea how to say that one. This power should never be employed for the sake of tyranny or personal gain. It was meant to oppose such evils. But it is our responsibility to bring this Christian to justice. Should we stand idle, his reprehensible action could very well stain the good name of the future summoners who have yet to answer their calling. I should probably be drinking water instead of cold coffee. Um, the art itself could be outlawed. The very mention of it taboo. Now through my inquiries, I was able to determine that the a war comrade from Trishan Cities is in the military resides in Little Alamigo. I ask that you pay a visit to this former soldier and learn what he knows of our callous villain. Okay, off to Fonalon and Little Alamigo. And then after this we'll probably do um, a daily level up and then we'll get back to MSQ. this way. Why was your health low? Don't worry. My question is, is he going to be up this way? Nope, he is down here. Well, well, it seems like Tristan wasn't telling tales after all. He said I could expect some primal adult sod to show up and start asking questions. Why don't you stay here and play with some friends of mine? I have a message to deliver. She's all yours, Lee. <laughs> no, it'd be a good idea. Um, yeah. Oh god, my health, my health, my health, my health. Oh god, oh god, okay. That's your Mirita. Yes, your turn to Gridania. I got poisoned. Oh, great. Yeah, I am loving 
having the time to stream now. Um, I love having the mental energy and it's nice to being able to stream without feeling exhausted. Internet. Amphitheater. Hmm. Uh, maybe I move my mic just a tiny bit like that? Should be okay. Nope, we have everything. Okay. I'm gonna have to get stuff prepared in a second. Uh -huh. Remove the group pose. I was doing that because I was finally uploading past streams up on the YouTube. I'll probably work on that some more after we're done here. Humans. We have two. Two others. That's six. Um, that's three. Let's see what we have for minions. Um, okay, so we have wind up Odin. Um, You know what, we're gonna go with find up non animal. Oh, I love non animal. Okay. Use. Nothing. Okay. Options. Use. Okay. Um. Minion. Summon. Add two favorites. Oh, you're so precious. You are set upon. The fiend is one step ahead of us. I wager ten years of Dixie fighting that Christian warned his old allies long before he set foot in that settlement. They thought you were one of the tempered, immortal, and thrall to the primal as well. Not only intention, not quite as I first assumed. Such a level of planning hints at the existence of some greater scheme. But that is still all we know. For the moment, we must be content with the knowledge that he perceives us as a threat and is aware of our efforts to track him. Speaking of which, you ex did well seeing you did exceedingly well to survive the trap into which I hope I sent you. Um, not sure. I must apologize for my carelessness. I will not underestimate this man again. On a happier note, however, I, my efforts to decipher the elegant text proceeded apace. Here, you must read this. With your skills already tied and tested against the EG, you should have little difficulty in mastering a secondary summoning technique such as this. Let us put this day's disasters behind us and focus on the wonders that lie ahead. Oh, it's out first. Okay. Yeah. I see a Snapchat. Oh no. Okay, um hmm. I might put that up here for now. And what's this one? Assault one, assault two. But the potent. 
sorry if that was loud. Um, what's it do for earthen armor and mountain buster? Okay. Okay. Keep it looted. You know what? Let's just keep going with MSQ because that's level 36 and we're at level 40. So let's go back to Camp Drybone. Because um, our next quest isn't... Class quest isn't going to be until level 45? Yeah, level 45. It's like every five levels until um, we get a little bit further, I think. I don't know. Summoner and uh, Scholar are ones I haven't really focused too much on my main. I've mainly been focusing on uh, Bard and White Mage. Alright, and he's already in uh, Black and Mage gear. Oh, the speed! Speed is key. <laughs> Okay. Uh, we can go up this way. Super fast. Guys, she's sleeping. She's taking a nap again. He who waited behind. Okay, so nothing we can use aside from the silver pieces. What a curious twist. The faith that Messer Sigarlon would at last be found within our church, it defies imagination. I beg your pardon, Amethyst. You wish to find his airship, yes? I know not much truth there is to it, but there is a tale known as the final flight of the Enterprise. Enterprise. <laughs> which grew popular in the wake of the calamity much like the great Gubu wall of Ulda it states that the enterprise threw northwest from Gudania towards Corpheus if true the airship would have passed through the north shroud likely over fall of Ford or Falgord float the closest settlement to Corpheus mayhaps a certain station there have records of the events that transpired that day I had hoped you might rest from your journeys for a time, but I see that the world still has need of you and the science. Pray look after yourself and Sid Amethyst. Of course, okay. Off to Fogward Flow. I'm gonna say that wrong so many times. I've been playing this game for over a year and I still can't say it right. I should probably let my FC know I'm going to take a break from my main so I can work on this. Just so then that way I don't get kicked from my FC. Because that would be really sad because I love my FC. Okay, so they're over this way. Looks like they're in this building right over here. Okay. Is there aught I can assist you with, Miss? The Enterprise? You speak of Miss Master Garland ship? Yes? Aye, I needn't refer to the records. I know that airship was sighted overhead five years ago, clearly bound for Corpheus. What became of it after? That I cannot say. If you wish to know more, pray speak with four. T4 at Laurentel Spire. He was on duty that day and saw it with his own eyes. I am sure what it is you hope to accomplish, though. Even though you should locate the ship, you would need, not need a man of Master Garland's caliber to fly. I hear tell that the machinery is fiendishly complex. Okay, so we gotta go. Back up this way. No, we're going down this way. Okay. Do, 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 do. 
And then he should be up here. Excuse me, my guy. You come in search of well then well not for you have found him. Indeed I have served the as a boiler for many years since before the great snows came to Corpheus. What exactly is this about? Ah, the final flight of the Enterprise. I do indeed remember that day. We're gonna go ahead and take that. Hmm. Okay, good, it doesn't have a hood. was on the eve of the Battle of Cartano nigh on five years ago, I held a spire alone that night while the bulk of our forces marched to meet the enemy in the field. Then all of a sudden the most fantastic airship I had ever seen split the skies overhead. I could only watch in shock as it disappeared over the mountains to the northwest. If the Enterprise wasn't destroyed during the calamity, I'd wager it's still somewhere in Corpheus. The astrologians at the observe Victorian may have records which could help, but to attain them you would need to deal with the Ishgardians control of the region. I wouldn't expect much, though the High Houses have long been concerned with their own affairs above all else. When Dalmud descended, they took shelter behind their gates, and even now they have little regard for the plights of other nations. Nevertheless, they may they aim to you who assist you should you prove yourself useful, 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 useful. Consider yourself providing your services to the soldiers who guard the observatorium. Though they may refuse you at first, I have little doubt they would accept aid freely offered. Off to Corpheus we go. Have we been to Corpheus? I don't remember. We have not, because we never got that far with a Dragoon, or a dra Lancer. Lancer becomes Dragoon. We are now level 41. But the good thing is, I know where to go, and now we are so much slower now that we're in Corpheus. But we're so close to meeting one of my favorite characters. <sighs> did we do a hunt? Did I do a hunting long off stream? I did. Okay, so we gotta work on that. This could be a pain in the butt to do. Oh, this is for Maelstrom. We gotta finish the first one. Oh, joy, 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 okay. I'm gonna have to do that off stream. Excuse me, can you repeat that? You wish to offer your services to House Durandair? And what, pray tell, do you wish to receive in exchange? Ha! <laughs> How observe as this we would permit an outsider to pursue the records of the observatorium. Do make our, not mistake our courtesy for friendliness. The Holy See of Ishgard may allow foreigners to travel freely within these lands, but we do not intend to offer succor to strangers. How kind. Or I'm going to... Repair my gear real quick. There should be someone who can fix stuff. Yep, okay. Then let's also get that chocobo porter too. Then we got levy mats that I need to unlock. Okay, Choco Keep Nada. Let's get this repaired. 
repair gear. Yes. Let's see what else needs to be repaired. All this stuff from when I was okay. So I'll do a few things off stream tomorrow. Like the hunting log, unlocking some levy class, and um obviously working on a few other things too. Is doing his utmost to intimidate you into leaving. It's not gonna work very well. Holoni, have mercy. Are you still here? You may take shelter within our walls if you insist, but you do not have to strap me while I am on duty. We're stretched thin as it is. And where in the hell is that night I sent out on patrol? He should have returned ages ago. <laughs> Perhaps I have a use for you after all. If you still wish to aid us, search the wilds to the west for my missing man. You will know him by his uniform of that of House Jundere. As is mine. Okay, so we gotta go back to Sway. I'm gonna need like a little pronunciation guide so I can say some of these things right. There he is. Okay. Killed overnight. Help him out. If it wasn't for you, miss, I reckon they would have finished me off. Despicable, loving, dra dragon loving bastards. Spitz. Death was a mercy they didn't deserve. I pray the rumors were mistaken, but this confirms the worst. I must immediately report inform my superiors that the heretics are operating within this region. Fare thee well, friend. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and run back because I love listening to the music sometimes. Because that's the thing when you constantly ride mounts is that you'll miss the music that's actually played in the land. So if it's a short distance then. Not too bad to walk. I must say I didn't actually expect you to find my knight, much less rescue him. I see I may have been premature in my judgments, miss. We are a proud people. Behold him to tradition. But that that but that does not mean we are with without humility. I shall instruct the astrologians to entertain your requests. However, Understand that it is ultimately their decision whether or not you may pursue their records. Pray, proceed to observatorium, observatorium, and introduce yourself to Edmil. Okay. So we go in this way. And then we go up here. There's a lot more out here. Okay. Ah, the lady comes in searching of the airship. This is highly unorthodox. Whatever could Sir Ludovix be thinking? It is true that we maintain meticulous records that would stretch back generations. However, because this information is used to chart providing activities, access is strictly controlled. One can never be too careful with heretics and their sympathizers lurking about. If you would persist your inquiries, please seek 
an audience with Chief Astrologian Forlament Forlamort up above. And then it's a long way up. Like, I think he's up pretty high. Because he's not here, so we gotta go up, go up some more. Um, I think he's on this floor. Maybe. Um, yes, there he is. No, absolutely not. Have you an inkling what it is, you ask? Were our records to fall into the wrong hands, that could change the course of a war which has raged on for generations. I speak not for th of some mere spat between southern her nations. Our ours is a holy crusade, and we are, are the evaders of Holoni's will. I will not put our great risk and great nation at risk. Certainly not for to help a foreigner locate a mission airship of all things. this guy. Pardon the intrusion for Lamort. I wished to speak with you regarding the recent Oh, I did not realize you had a guest. Inquisitor Garlow, you, you honor us with your presence, sir. The lady was just leaving. Ah, you must be the one who rescued who had housed Andrea's knight from those heretics. Doubtless they feel indebted to you. I am told you see an audience Seek an airship last seen in Corpheus five years ago, yes? Come at it to us an inconvenient time. I fear much has changed in the intervening years and look for the better. While I wish you the best of luck in your search, I would also strongly advise caution. The snows come quickly in Corpheus. One moment you may feel as though you have a firm grasp on your surroundings, safe and secure in your knowledge. The next you may find yourself in a Play on the familiar situation, blind to the dangers hidden by the blizzard. It would be single to focus on a single landmark while traveling. Do not give in to temptation and deviate from your course. I was not aware you aided the house in this fashion. Thank you, Madame. Nevertheless, my decision stands. I cannot give you what you seek. There we go. Okay. Oh, we get those. We get those. Okay. Accept. Yeah, there, madame. I cannot help but overhear your conversation with Chief Astrologian. There may be a way I can assist you, but I require you to perform for me a favor in exchange. Okay. An associate of mine has yet to return from his expedition to the cliffs east of the observatorium. He was adamant that he could conduct his observations alone despite the presence of Axel in the vicinity. Axel. Axel? Axel? If you would seek out this astrologer and confirm he, that he is well, that would be a great comfort to me. Okay. Um, let's give Thorn another gash eye green. I'm going to need to buy more of them. I would jump. But that would be death. Especially from this height. Oh my god. Okay, we're almost there. We are almost there. This is a safe distance. Door is over here. And would you look at that? Blizzards! We gotta go this way. It's goo. It's a 
island gook. Okay, we're gonna fight you. Because I need you for something it looks like. Okay, so you only need one. Let's get past this one. And then our astrologian friend is currently right there. And he looks terrified. Aiding. What a relief to see someone other than a goddamn bird man. I thought I could finish my work while the Ith were away, but they returned far quicker than I anticipated. Before I froze too. Wait, who are you? You are not one of our knights. A man of house cannot be seen in the company of an unbeliever. Good day, ma'am. Well then. You're welcome for the help. <laughs> okay, so that was a maelstrom hunt. Okay, good, 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 good. Got some storm seals in that too. There's a little goat thing. <laughs> what is what it what kind of mount was that? Okay, we're just gonna have Thorn go up for us. Because this is a tiny bit quicker than uh, going up ourselves. And we should almost be there. There we go. Okay. The arrogant fool returned not long ago before you arrived, muttering about the disgrace of having been rescued by an unbeliever. Serves him right for underestimating the dangers our knights nice. face every day. Ah, uh, but you are eager to locate your airship? Excuse me, my guy! It may surprise you that save by saving him you have already aided your own cause. How's Durandare is quick to regard outsiders with suspicion, as it is their duty to sound the alarm at the first sight of Dravanian aggression, yet you have already hit them twice, for which they are honored bound to repay you, even so they will not grant you access to observatorium records, that is just as well, for there are other ways you might locate your mission airship. What I propose is you petition for Lord Forletane to, for an official introduction to the other high houses. Word of House Thunderay carries tremendous weight on Ishgard. Should the captain consent, you would have little trouble attaining information from the other high houses. Okay. Let us be off then. I'm gonna go ahead and sprint. Should I be running downstairs? No. Should I be running downstairs without a railing? Absolutely not! Because one messed up and yep. Lost a little bit of health there, but we're okay. And then we go ahead in here and talk to this guy. You've quite caused you've caused quite a stir in your short time here. First you slay two heretics and save a night. And now I hear you have rescued a man of our house. I imagine you must desire something for your troubles. An introduction to the other high houses. I cannot deny that you have, have given us no cause to distress, distrust you. But while you have performed two acts, you have would have endorsed had me endorse you to three high houses. 
It is only fitting that you aid us one final time, wouldn't you agree? Fair enough. Recommended gear. Equip. Options for your sign gear. Okay. Hmm. Okay. What is this? Are you? Oh. Okay, so that's for another dungeon, which we are not a high enough level for. So we'll get to that another time. Now, now, I understand you are very eager to find your missing airship. Worry not for this task. It should take a moment of your skills, but a moment to complete. No, stay. Why not for the city? Not long ago, a porter bound for Skyfire Locks was ambushed on the road due to due west of here. Though he escaped with his life, he looked very much like his wares as well. On the off chance any portion of his shipment remains, I would have you travel to the scene of the robbery and bring back what you would find. At least you intend to form only a Cursory search, bear in mind that recovering the stolen merchandise would enter you to House Hillernate, further improving your the chances they indulge you your quest for aid. We are six levels above. Oh, we got the cat! We got the cat! What on earth? I have no clue what that was. Uh -huh. Oh, stretch. Hi. Hello. Hi. Oh, there's a big old yawn. One. Two. And then here's our last one. We gotta move, we gotta move. Okay, let's do that. Okay. That takes care of that. And let's go ahead and head back. Okay. I have your wear is good, sir. Have you good tidings to share, or better yet, stolen merchandise to show? Hand over. Hand over. Hand over. Hand over. God bless you, friend. It's all here, very last. Ah, uh, but wait, the just over there looks like it might be then pillaged. Bloody hell, is that's a personal property of Lord Mansell, too. Are you certain? Clear an attempt was made to open it, but the lock appeared to have held. Nevertheless, if you wish to verify the contents against your shipping manifest, be my guest. Fury, take me a draconian rosary! 
And the possession of Laura Francel? Not good. Yet, perhaps this is not so difficult to fathom. How Serena is whispered to be infested with heretics. Thank you for bringing this matter to my attention, miss. I shall inform the Inquisitors immediately under these circumstances. I strongly advise against associating with House Hellernary. Your other introductions will need to be postponed as well. This is the duty of every Ish Guardian to root out the destroyed heretics. All else must wait until this matter is resolved. The Rose and the Unicorn. Oh, Pants? No. No Pants. So, five silver pieces. Come closer, lass, and listen well. This is for your ears only. Lord Francel is no heretic. He is a goodly, righteous man, wholly dedicated to the cause. I know this because I served House Hellernate for years prior to the Calamity. You must go to the Skyfire locks and warn him of the coming storm. The Inquisitors are ruthless and will spare him no mercy. Speak to him of an Elderweiss and he will know you are a friend now. Go. Back we go. Okay. Let's go. We're coming, Francel! Help is on the way, dear! Help is on the way! I think... No, he's someone up there. Okay. Skyfire looks... Feral Croc! So we gotta go up to the one that's up here. And we go in here. Yes, you look as though you have something to say, do you? Do, do. I see, Sir Kellernot has not forgotten my mother's hair flower of pity. It has not been. I've been seen in Corthia since the Calamity. You may speak freely here, friend. That's... that's absurd. I would sooner die than become a thrall of the dragons. Unless it matters little what I say at this point, although the draconian rosary was not found in my possession, it was... it will still be considered made by many to be proof of my heresy. I must do my utmost to prove my innocence to the Inquisitors, for if they harbor even the slightest doubt, this will only add weight to the incident. Accusations our house has suffered of late. It's as though the gods themselves are plotting our fall. You risk much by coming here. It is only proper that I review and compensate you for this deed. Tell me what you desire, and I shall do my best for missing airship I see. It may require a prolonged effort to locate your quarry. I shall direct you to one in a better position to assist you. Haru! Lord Harshafont of House Fortomps commands the garrison at Camp Dragonhead. Present to him this letter of introduction, and he will surely be receptive to your needs. We're meeting my favorite character. And off we go. I forgot, he doesn't really have a good jump. Do, do, do. That was a black chocobo. Now, before we go meet 
That's their Galia. I hope that uh, event comes back. First things first, before we go Mihrash, if not, let's get this Aetherite. Hello, you beautiful man. Actually, Allison. Ah, the amistable swagger of a well-traveled adventurer. If you are come to pay your respects, be at ease, friend. I am not, not one to stand up formality. Truth be told, I would gladly welcome many and more brave souls like yourself. But enough chatter, pray tell me why you have come. Do we hear his voice? Or is it? Yep. Yeah. No, we don't hear his voice. Ah! If there is any justice in this world, these charges will receive no serious con consideration. It is beyond inconceivable. Ah, yes, the letter made mention of a pressing matter for which you require assistance. What might that be? So this enterprise you speak of was last seen above Corchias before the calamity five years ago. I fear it may prove difficult to find any eyewitnesses to these events. For all Ishgar did not participate in the Battle of Cartano, we were embroiled in our own internal conflicts at the time. Nevertheless, I will make inquiries on your behalf and share with you my findings in the future. Thank you, Roshafon. In the meantime, please enjoy the hospitality of of Camp Dragonhead, I will see that you are afforded every courtesy as a guest at House Four Tombs. You do not understand how much I love this Elzen. Just. <laughs> ah. Well, gosh, come as a proposal for how you might participate in this further investigation. As you doubtless have realized by now, the high houses of Ishgard, Hospital Tomps included are either unable or unwilling to often offer your new formal assistance in your search. However, that does not mean that there are not influential individuals in then each house who are sym sympathetic to your cause. I shall be sending missives to the various representatives in Ishgard, though I suspect it should be quicker and more efficient if you were to make the inquiries of your own. Lady Knight of my own house for Toms, who resides here in Camp Dragonhead, rather enjoys the company of travelers. There is also a Kremlin of House Hilnart, could be can be found at Skyfire Locks, so any information you pry from the scry may be through difficult to parse. And have you spoken with the chief astrologian of House Sundra yet? Really? Hmm, perhaps he'll be more accommodating once I inform him that you are a friend of House for Comps. Do not concern yourself with House Dismal. I shall contact them myself, seek the counsel of the three I mentioned, and return to me when finished. All right, off we go. Now, one of them should be here. So we gotta go this way. I believe she's in here. Hi, hello, good madam. What's that? An airship, you say? I hate to disappoint you, but I know nothing of what you seek. Likely none of the house- no one of House Four Thompson's. For if they did, I would definitely know as well. On the topic on everyone's lips these days is what would become of young Lord Francel, 
Some say these allegations are long overdue, given how many members of House Harnot have been found guilty of heresy in recent days. Okay, and then back down we go to, um... There, and then back down to the Observatorium. First things first, Chocobo. Which should be over here. Ooh, that lag. Okay, there's a little bit of lag. Um, Walnut Traveler, blah 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 blah. Nada. Thank you. What is up with the lag? Lag, please. No. Oh, we have the cat. This music just reminds me so much of um, Little Solace. Okay, it should be here. Hello? Yeah. Hello, and grant me strength. There must be some way to. Oh! Who are you? A friend of Lord Hoshaphon? I want to help you, I do, but these accusations of heresy have thrown the house on it. And to chaos, right now we must focus on combating these charges and pre preserving our reputation. Understood. Okay, and back down to the Sertorium, which is down this way. Then once we talk to Formal, we're good. I'm gonna grab some water. Because um, I should not be drinking coffee at 4 30. Because that will keep me up all night, which is not good. And back up we climb. Oh, that was close. That was very much close. Okay. Oh, and it's dark. Oh, and Nana was on our shoulder. I just noticed. <laughs> That's my favorite things about Nana though. Okay. I gather you have been busy since we last spoke. Just a tiny bit. Lord Rajwan's missive was positively glowing, but if you think that his endorsement is cause for me to disregard Ishgardian policies, then you are sorely mistaken. We are at war, madam. And the enemy grows bolder by the day and why, in the short time the Inquisitor Gamma has arrived, Corthius, countless heretics have been discovered even among the elite of Ishgardian society. If Lord Horoshan wishes to waste his days chasing after a long lost airship, then that is his choice. But if he expects others to share in his folly, then he is truly blind to the present state affair. Screw you. <laughs> that was almost a tumble down. Oh, God. Oh, my apologies, cat. 
Okay, so we're back to Camp Dragonhead, and then I'm gonna go get some water. Okay. And now we're back at Camp Dragonhead. And I will be back in a second. I'm gonna go switch this out. So, be back in a minute. I should probably turn the light on. <laughs> I should probably turn the light on. It's getting dark. <laughs> it is getting very much dark. Light on. Just sit at my desk there. Oh, the grunts and grumbles. Okay, let's move this a little bit up like that. Okay. So now it like kind of blocks. Now to put my headphones back on. Okay. By your countenance, I did not- I take it you did not learn anything of use? Nor did I, I fear. It seems the whole Corthia is consumed by this talk of heretics and high houses. We can only hope that my sources in Ishgard proper provide more Pertinian information. I think I said that right. I had another personal request to make of you. It concerns Lord Francel, of whom much has been whispered in recent days. I have received a report that he and three knights were seen heading north towards Steel Vigil. It was an outpost. The outpost was long ago overrun by Dravonian hordes, I'm not certain what he intends to accomplish with such a small force. Whatever his motives, I fear for his safety. Pray journey to the Steel Vigil and see if Lord Francel's party requires assistance. And you better bet they do. Okay. So. Steel Vigil is actually up this way. Cause um, supports witch drop. No, witch drops down in that cavern. Um. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear her snoring or not. Probably not. It's still a little bit too quiet. 
all my sweet pop. Hello. Hope. Okay. Now he should be down here somewhere. There he is. Who goes there? Amethyst? No, stay back. The fiend is still here. And I used it at the last second. Aid. Aid the knights. Okay, we got one here. Confound it all. How are we to redeem? How if we cannot slay a single avius? We were fortunate you came along when you did. House Hilner will remember your kindness. Don't attack, don't attack, don't attack, don't attack, 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 I heard the beast cries from over yonder, then Lord Francella is safe. Bless you, miss, bless you. Crystal Spines, it's, it's as though they knew we were coming. So we're gonna sneak behind this guy. Are not okay. Um. Okay. Okay. Well, the XP is always good. It was a foolish thing to do, but I know, but I had hoped we might demonstrate our devotion by slaying a number of the scale kin. Moreover, it was Hassanara that you led the steel vigil to the horde many years ago. One might say that our defeat here heralded the slow decline of our house's once great name. We have been brought even lower by these despicable accusations of heresy. And despite my best efforts, I have done not to improve the situation. The day my trial approaches, I must so soon I must accept the judgment of the Inquisitors, whatever it may be. But even should my protestations fall on deaf ears, I will proclaim, proclaim my innocence to my dying breath. Okay, let's get back to Haru. What am I doing? How are you? Um, I saw a shiny horse. I saw a glowy horse. Um, I want one. I must figure out how to get one. <laughs> but how? Where? 
I must know. What did you find at the seal vigil? Oh, I see a reckless plan, but at least it did not cost him and his knights their lives. I have use, news for you as well. A witness says the final flight of the Enterprise has been found. Alas, there is a complication. It has become common knowledge that you paid a visit to Lord Francel at the Sky at Fire Locks not long ago. Upon learning this, the witness became understandably resistant to make your acquaintance or fear of being seen in the company of a woman who might later be declared a heretic. N a not unreasonable fear, given the zeal with that the Inquisitor Gilme has conducted his investigations. In any case, if we wish to obtain his testimony, we must first clear Lord Francel's name. And by association, of course. Alright. Lost book of silver. Isn't that? No, it's not. It's, it's it's the same, but not the same at the same time. That looks quite boring. If I'm gonna be honest, it is quite the boring book. As I see it, the key to proving Lord Francel's innocence is discrediting the evidence against him. I speak of the draconian rosary found in the chest you recovered yourself. If you will please tell me of the incident in question. So it was found in a locked chest labeled the property of the rosary. It's not his. Then someone else must have planted it. Here's what you must do. Return this guy fire locks and speak with Spickerman. He works closely with the porters who ferry goods across Corthia, so he must may have some inkling who could be responsible. Hmm? There is a table there. Oh, they're sitting out. I didn't realize they were here. And then it's snowing again. No, it's blizzards. And we're slowly inching closer to um level 42. I almost went too far. Excuse me, my good man. Is yes, someone tampering with shipments? Fury strike me down. If all them rosaries were found in our people's possessions are planted. Hey now, don't give me that look, lass. I'm a house hiller, not man through and through. This heresy nonsense is bad for me and the family, too. I ain't saying the porters what we're bringing the shipment did it, though. I know most of them that work trade routes, and they never caused to question their face. But if it wasn't them neither, then your guess is as good as mine. After all, most every shipment is thoroughly expected before it. Eh? Could have it been the fellows that were responsible for the inspections? Ha! Ishgardian knights and inquisitors, a lot of them. As if they ever turn their cloaks. Reckon that means the porters are most likely your suspects. Hate to think it. But maybe you should question them. The crew... There's a group coming to Camp Dragonhead from White Brim Front this eve. You might consider having a word with them. Speak with the porter. Okay, back to Camp Dragonhead we go. And we'll have to make our way there eventually. Eventually, yeah. Okay. 
Order should be right there. Beg your pardon. You suspect that we porters have been planting draconian rosaries in the hospital. What a nerve. If you truly believe such nonsense, search our parcels and see what you find. Search one of three. Search two of three. Search three of three. Are we finished? If so, I would appreciate an apology. But, but that's impossible. Once the night that white friend can. Front concluded her inspection, I loaded the parcels onto the wagon myself. And if I had been the culprit, I would have never allowed you to search my shipments. If say what you will to Lord Horatrophon, I will not be held accountable for this. They have just been sitting there for probably the past half hour now. But something happened outside. I thought I heard shouting, but uh, more importantly, what did Rickerman have to say? More to try Coney and Rose. Reason every single piece, every single parcel bound for Scott Fairlocks. Beggars believe. Even the Inquisitors must acknowledge that this is no more than a crass attempt to sully House Hornet's reputation. Whoever is responsible has overplayed his hand. And praise Haloni that he did. Lord Francel's trial is upon us, and we must act now if we are to clear his name. From the very first, I knew I could not be that so many members of House Hornet were heretics. At last, we can give the lie to these poisonous allegations and put an end to this travesty. I will need to perform, prepare a formal statement regarding these developments for the Holy See. In the meantime, I would have you bear my words to Inquisitor Berge. Tell her that House Sparkomp's acts, nay, demands that Lord Francel's trial be postponed until a full investigation has been conducted. And it looks like they're near the Aether, right? Yes. What is it, my child? Hmm? Lord Hoshpons would have the Inquisitors do what? But that is not possible. Inquisitor presides over Lord Francel's trial at Witch Drop, even as we speak. Fear not if Lord Francel is innocent. He shall walk in Haloni's Hall with the fallen heroes of Ishgard. Um, no. No, 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 no. Rashifons! Rashifons! They have taken Lord Francel to Witch Drop! This is menace. The Inquisitor does not have sufficient grounds to subject him to that manner of trial. I will not stand idly by and allow an innocent man to die. Amethyst, I would dispatch you and one of my knights to Witch Drop to forestall the proceedings until such time as I am able to join you in petition the Inquisitor's Gilmane. In person, I will endeavor not to keep you waiting too long. Do whatever you must to keep Lord Francel alive. Yes, sir. Which drops over this way? Nope, I have uh, not far enough. Which drops over this way? The question is, what part of which drop are they at? Oh, 
we're pretty far. Okay, um... Relax. Hi, sleepy one. Oh. Okay. Hail Amethyst, as you can see, Lord Francel yet lives. We must try to reason with the Inquisitor, but his guards judge us a threat. We must also be prepared to defend ourselves. Proceed. Proceed with caution. But proceed. Chosen Chardonnay de Francel, Yharna, you stand accused of heresy against the Holy See of Ishgard. Is there aught you wish to say in your defense? Hear me, brothers, you charges are false. The men and women of my line have ever opposed the Dravanians. And I am no, no different. Since the very birth of our nation, we have guilefully shed blood in the service of the Holy See. Condemn me, and you will strike a blow for the enemies of Ishgard. It is for Holoni to judge if you speak the truth. Prove your innocence in the eyes of gods and men. Leap from the cliff, cliff and entrust your fate to the fury. The righteous shall take their place in Holoni's halls while the wicked shall reveal their dragon forms and be put to the sword. In the name of House Four Toms, I beseech you stay your hand. Inquisitor, we are come on behalf of Lord Rochefort. My lord has uncovered evidence which suggests that the charges against Lord Francel are without merit. We humbly request that these proceedings be suspended until such time as a full re-examination of the facts can be conducted. Lord Hodgefont has allowed his personal relationship with the accused to cloud his judgment. That should harbor private doubts I might have allowed, but that he would dare interfere in the legal proceedings sanctioned by the Holy See, I cannot. To defy the will of the Inquisitor is to commit heresy, a crime for which there are is one is but one punishment. We must hold them until Lord Rashafan arrives, Amethyst. Remember, no harm can come to the Inquisitor. Right. Okay, I gotta... Rashafon! It is not our intention to defy the will of the Archbishop. But this trial, like many others, I fear has been orchestrated by enemies of House Harnot. They have used you and your fellows to sow discord, Inquisitor. If you set brother against brother, that we may tear ourselves apart. <laughs> the fever imaginings of a desperate man. What proof have you of this? I don't know, maybe this? By the fury of crowning Rosie, then the night he refused to yield, it was he who summoned the Wavern. 
A heretic in the ranks of the Temple Knights? This has grave implications. If your claims have appeared to have merit, Lord Rashafon, I shall withdraw my charges against Lord Francel pending further investigation. I have trust you have not lost sight of that which first brought you to Corthius, Amethyst. Pray locate your errant airship and use it. Don't like him. Don't like him at all. Lord Rashafon, I would not I have not the words to express my gratitude, but why would you risk your reputation to save mine? Because I know you, boy, you're too loyal to betray Ishgard and too devout to question your sentence. Had we been any slaughter, you had jumped of your own free will. I, I would have done whatever it took to redeem House Hunter Knight. Praise Holoni, it did not come to that, but it profits us little to dwell on what might have been. But let us quit this play, Amethyst. Pray visit me at camp. Dragonhead, once you have recuperated. Great. Like I said, it's a lot of nods. Okay, now back to Dragon Pit. Nothing happened. No, we weren't stuck. I promise we weren't stuck. Okay, let's avoid the snow pups. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My ears looking okay. You look well, Amethyst. I may say what a pleasure it is to fight alongside such a fearless and skillful warrior. Were it not for you, Lord Prinzel would have surely died defending the honor of his house, and I he might as well perish at the hands of a heretic and his waver. House for Tonks and House Hoenar shall never forget your service. Now let us return to the matter of your missing enterprise. And we are now level 42. I don't think we have any gear, and yeah, no, we don't have any gear that get us any higher. Okay. The man with the knowledge of the Enterprise that waits you outside, I pray his information proves useful to you. Thank you, Hashifon. Okay, let's give another guy shadow green. This composed cataloger. How quickly the commoner's opinion changed. They say Lord Francel is innocent now, but just a few days prior. Anyway, you were inquiring as to the whereabouts of an airship last seen in Corthia several days before the calamity, yes? Well, it so happens that I was monitoring the night sky at the Septorium during that period. I recall that a small vessel came from the direction of Cardania and landed near the Stone Vigil in the far northwest. The garrison almost certainly seized the vessel and brought it within their walls. If so, then you would need an army of knights to have hope of securing it. But Lord Korashafon is, from all indications, quite fond of you. Mayhap he can lend you a few. In any case, I have done my part. I shall pray for your success, success friend. Okay. Super Ah, so you've located the Enterprise. I believe congratulations are in order. The Stone Vigil? Ah, perhaps I spoke too soon. The outpost has been held by the dragons for years, and all access is restricted by the house, by the creative house in Drer. I will write a letter to Horst Delamont of White from Frost and request that he grant you permission to enter. That said, I fear my influence alone will not suffice. So I suggest that you request Lord Francel to do 
Megan has concluded I suspect we may not meet again for some time. Which makes me sad. Because he's right, it's not going to be for some time. <laughs> um, I wish you well on your journey, Sam, with this may how long to guide you. Until our next meeting, Harlech Fonts. I want that horse. Let's go talk with Francel. First, the way up. We're gonna go this way. Okay, and then we go up this way. Francel! Francel! Hi, buddy. Wonder to see you again, Amethyst. If there's anything I can do re to repay you, name it. So the airship you seek is likely inside the stone vigil. It shames me to say that it too was once an outpost held by House Hornar. In the chaos that was followed by the fall of the Calamity, the Dravanian Horde caught us unawares. The fiends have held the outpost ever since. Yeah. As we lack the strength of arms to retake the stone vigil, House Dunere has instead has been charged with the duty. Given that, I doubt that my words will carry much weight with Lord Florimond. Nevertheless, I will Write you your letter. Before you depart, a word of caution the caverns who attempt to destroy House Hornar have yet to be unmasked. Though their plans were foiled, they doubtless still harbor great hatred towards us and towards you now as well. Thank you, Francel. I will take heed of your words. Okay. Then to. There, we gotta go back up and over. Gotta go past the gates to Ishgard. Then we go this way. Okay, and then that. Yeah, that's the gate to Ishgard. I think so. Is it? Yes. So it'll be quite some time before we can get to there. <laughs> We're almost there. Almost there. Oh, I'm gonna put the lid on my candle. Because that's been going for a while. Okay. I don't like letting that candle go too long. Now they don't have an Aether right here, but they do have a Chocobo. I also have a levy class, if I remember correctly. 
Yep. So before we talk to that guy there, we're gonna get the chocobo key. Got that set up. Now we'll talk to this guy. Your desire and honors with Lord Delmont, do you? Huh. I desire a night in a warm bed with my wife, but wishing we'll make it so. <laughs> What do we have here? Letters from Lords Rochefont and so is it? You likely? Oh, you're serious. Hmm. What to do? What to do? Not be an ass. Your time could not have been worse. Traveler Lord and attentions are so focused solely on this dull vigil at present. In any case, it is not risk. responsibility to escort visitors. Take your letters and show them to Sir Eloise. Yes, Sir Eloise currently. I can surely accommodate you. Seek her in the storeroom at the opposite end of the yard. There's Al. I think Sid should be somewhere if it's... Might be just Al. Um... And no, not why he presumed I would be in a better position to help, but I assure you that he is mistaken. Isn't hasn't the time spending speaking with bull-ranking knights such as I, however, he always has a moment to spare for head chirgans as Nicinian. Why not visit the infirmary upstairs and show your letters to him? Okay, and off we go. Mm -hmm. And he's upstairs. Are you here to visit a patient, madam? What is this? Letters of introduction from House Poor Thompson and Eleanor. For talking to you such as these, you needn't seek an escort. You may proceed to the barracks and speak with Sir Gardenal. I don't think I said that right. Not even close, I don't think. Um, He should know Lord Delamont's current whereabouts. There's Sid. Let's go check something real quick. Okay. And off we go to the box. Which are right across the way. Do, 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 do. And he is also upstairs. I think it's like two floors. And there are towers. No, he's right there. Okay. What reason do you have uh, for barging into? Well, I see. Well, you're in the forward. Darmont is just up these stairs. Letters or no, I wouldn't expect much. Hunt plus has a hold, does not hold adventurers in high regard. Best state your intentions quickly and how do you say that? Show proper respect and it shall be returned in kind. Thank you. Excuse me, my good man. From E passage, I very well speak. Hand over. There's like. Doo -doo. You used to brave a ruined outpost filled with scallion to secure an airship that may or may not be there. Are you the avatar of the fury herself? <laughs> Al Sid! We are the science of the seventh dawn, Lord Emma. You know our name and you know our deeds. We are come to Corthias to slay Garuda, Lady of the Vortex to act, and we seek the Enterprise, an airship of Master Sid, Nan Garlon, who stands before you now. Master Garlon? You're alive? But that's impossible! Indeed it is, my lord. Ugh. Do not be deceived by their honeyed words. These foreigners are not to be trusted. In a critical moment, Ishgardian Hissia marshals the forces to retake the stolen vigil. If who should appear in white front, that's three mysterious strangers. 
Sir Garlon missing presumed dead since before the calamity, and two signs of the Seventh Dawn's that he found a band of misfits recently exterminated by the Empire. The lesser houses may have been duped by these grandiose lies, but I should hope the house thunder would have greater sense. I know why not. These three stick to stone vigil, but I know that we cannot permit them to pass. Thank you for your counsel, Inquisitor. For a moment, I nearly believe this mummer's farce. You three will not out will not enter the outpost uh, until we have reclaimed it, and until you declare your true intentions as well. It could be moons before our house under purges the dragons from the stone vigil. We cannot afford to wait that long. Said Amethyst, we must do whatever it takes to earn trust. Understood. Right. And that's a we're at level 39 plus already. Okay. And I'm guessing it's having us go downstairs. Get a bit of ways. Yep. You know what? I'm just gonna cut through this way. Okay. And here we go. with interest. You're the last responsible for that commotion upstairs. I word travels fast and away from frost. I gather you still wish to change more Daramon's mind. Yes, I do. But there's one thing I learned the man about the man of my time here. It's that he listens and to and respects the opinions of those under his command when over the barracks and he's sure to take notice how you ask that that's easy. Serve the poor souls to a decent fare for the change. Last few suppers, supply shipments contain no meat whatsoever, and the knights are rightfully beginning to complain. I'm thinking we could prepare them some steaks using mud puppy tail meat. It wouldn't be a quality meal, tis true, but it'd be a damn sight better than nothing. If you have a mind to lend a hand, why not await a lurking mud puppy in Camden and Fen Pass? Take this bottle of vinegar, local say it weakens the mud puppies by clogging their incus glands, drying their skin. Okay. Yes, I know how to use target items. Which way do we go? Not that way, we gotta go down this way. Okay. And it gives us the cat yet again. <laughs> no, we gotta go this way. Okay. Then this way? This way first. Yes, okay. Because we've got to go through a fate, which I am not too happy about. Because the one thing about fates, you don't want to do them alone. That can be cool. That is a Cyclops. It looks like there's quite a few of them. Um. <laughs> Destination. I gotta heal, I gotta heal. Hughes, stop 
Interrupting! One, two, one thing. Okay, this, this is infuriating. No, 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 oh, fuck! Um... I'm gonna have to just take care of that offshore maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot tell you how much I hate that one. Um, but yeah, that one sucks. We'll try it one more time. If we don't get it, I'm gonna try and do it off stream. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Though I really want to keep going with MSQ. Uh, yeah. Let's make our way back down there. And it keeps giving the cat. I can only have three. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a level thirty nine. Other way, dummy, other way. Okay. Let's see other fates gone. Um, let's try this again. Gotta put that here. Gotta run from the chinchillas. Let's try this again. Come on, come on. Use. Please work, please work, please work. Yes!
Get out of my... And I need to go this way. I was heading back toward Camp Dragonhead. Nope, we gotta go towards my friend. And up we go. Did it? I thought the idea idiotic. Oh dear, remind me never to wander near Mud Poppy spawning grounds without a bottle of vinegar. Any road, this should only take a moment. I'll just need to do this and this, and voila! Never seen a man cook six that fast, have you? Take these three and Distribute them to the Hungry Knights here and above. Follow you, sir. You there, lass. I didn't uh, see you and the conspiring together. Let me make the, myself perfect clear. If you wish to buy my choice of steak, <laughs> endeavor. Well, uh, yes, I feel invigorated, refreshed, as if I have the strength of ten men and their wits beside. I should not travel with them. Crafting a new reason to refrain from this. <laughs> we ought to at least receive a hearty meal before we march off to die in this godforsaken waste. Hand over. Is that fresh cooked steak? How long is blessings be upon you, my friend? Well, puppy meat or no, this is the most delicious food I've had in a fortnight. And then there should be one more upstairs. And it be you. We ever must be trained to maintain our skills on arms, yet we never yet never are we to receive proper sustenance. Hand over. There you go. You are a godson, my friend. Too few appreciate the house here. You must do far more than its fair share for the sake of Ishgard. So what are you doing? Huh. It feels wonderful to see everyone in such high spirits. Amazing what good food can do for morale, eh? I have forgotten about the handiwork chickens at the infirmary. So rarely that they take their meals here in the hall. Mind taking the sick to Sinfora, I doubtless she's so preoccupied with the health of her patients that she neglects to attend to her own. Of course! Yep. Yep. Okay. Excuse me. Then, maybe she's in here. Yes, no, over here. Thank you, pardon me, madam, but I am busy attending to this man. I will be with you in a moment. Is that, come to think of it, it's been quite a while since I ate last ate. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to have a nibble. Oh my, this is fantastic, thank you so much. I'll eat the rest of this right away. Uh, let's go with bread. Okay. Swords. Okay. Need to bring that back over. Okay. Sid. Ah, oh, you know what? Hold on. Before we do that, um. Hmm. Hmm. 
Leveling. Join. Okay. If I have a word with you, Amethyst, it concerns the Shardons. After speaking with them earlier, I learned that they lack sufficient Albrex for their needs, you see. So I use some of their broken equipment to craft a more advanced uh, bow, so as a gesture of goodwill. And as a means to help me recover my memory, since working with my hands kindles familiar feelings. All it requires to complete this core of three ice sprites, though. Reduce temperatures of alchemic mixtures. There is a way to alter their properties so that they draw the cold within rather than radiate out. Impossible, yeah. That somehow I know it will work. Okay, so what were you saying? <laughs> Let's go get some ice sprites. It just got foggy out. I'll have to make a stop at Gridania eventually. Um. I know it's just come that way, but there's also a few ice sprites up here too. So there's one, then two and three. Let's take care of this one first so then that way we can. Keep a fair distance away from them. Okay, and then we just need to get this last one. Number after 50. <laughs> oh, yeah, we'll just keep doing um, MSQ until this pops up. Whatever the chorus said. Okay, foggy again. <laughs> um. Okay. Sid. Have you obtained the course of self? Please show them to me. Here you go. <laughs> What an amazing dice, but is it truly an elm vixer? I've never seen it's like this before. I am too unsure what makes of this machine. Well, certainly I'm quite impressive. I have no idea how to make use of it. Nevertheless, if it's a, as effective as he claims, it will be a great boon to the infirmary. Think of the medicines we could create, the lives we could save. Even so, I wonder. Where are the kindly stranger bearer gifts? Wondrous and strange, for his generosity comes at a cost. Their earnest efforts are but means to as yet unknown end. Moreover, you should be wary of associating with individuals who in have interfered with the questioning of suspected heretic. They did what? Bless you, Inquisitor, for coming along when you did. He also come to the attention of these... Preferred by these unbelievers. Yeah. Why does that man detest us so? Is it all because we interrupted Lord Francis' trial? Whatever his reasons, he clearly means to oppose us at every turn. Number 
46. If the Enterprise is indeed in some vigil, then we must convince... But we lose defense. That's what we're going with. Cold piece. Before we can persuade, it seems we must convince the Inquisitor. They tell me we are not his enemy, but just how might we go about doing that? We know little and less about the good Inquisitor, despite him being such a prominent figure in Corthius. Perhaps we should learn more by speaking with the people of Viper and Frost. Share your findings with the and Square. I'm sure he can formulate a strategy from there. True, true. That looks like the people we can talk to, or do we either down here? Yep. Yes, of course I know of him. Alas, I have not seen him since the day he came to Wipe and Frost several moons ago. My memory is somewhat muddled, but I recall that a blizzard near buried us in the snow that day. I had the ill fortune of being assigned to that night's watch. While the stronghold slept, we walked the walls and patrolled the exterior, exterior and the darkness as pit, black as pitch. My route took me outside the eastern gate at one point where I caught sight of a silhouette illuminated by the light of the city, thinking it was a wayward traveler. I cried out and gave chase, but slipped and took a terrible fall. When I woke, it was days later in this very bed, where I have lain recovering from my injuries ever since. I had tried to rescue him, but in the end, Inquisitor Gillamane rescued me, carrying my unconscious body to the gates. I owe him my life, madame, and I hope to one day repair his kindness. Okay, is there anybody else in here that I can talk to? Nope, it looks like it's gonna be downstairs then. Okay, we've jumped up to 31. Ivan the Foggy is whom you speak of, unbeliever. I will learn of your deeds at Witch Drop. I will not party to any whatever dastardly schemes you've hatched against the Inquisitor. I'll wait with you. Rude. Patrick! Oh, we jumped up to 27. Under watchful gaze on prison numbers of heretics have been unmasked and brought to justice. They say he goes days without sleep, so great is his devotion. Blessed are we to have such a goodly righteous man to protect us. And then we got one more over this way. The creed like pleasures are the others to one as well. They are, are to be afforded every courtesy and the utmost respect. Short and to the point. What? 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 In case you haven't noticed my attire is ill suited to this climate, then go stand inside! I realized that too soon after our arrival, but pay no mind as I hope we might find the Enterprise far faster instead of we wasted far too much time meddling in local affairs. Never mind, our journey is almost at an end. All that remains is to deal with the irksome Inquisitor. Sid tells me you have been busy making inquiries, yes? Hmm, it, should come to it should come as no surprise that he is held high and rec- Held in high regard, even so, I'm beginning to suspect he has other reasons for hindering us now. Unless more closely review the testimonies of James, Anthes may have the old fight and sight to Quizzer Gillies. Okay, we are at number 16. So we jumped quite a bit. During that small cutscene. Something troubles me about the Wounded Knight's account. He claims he felt chase and figure in the darkness. 
that I saw outside the eastern gate, yes. But the main load re leads to the southwestern gate. Since we have arrived at White from Cross, I've seen no travelers arrive by the eastern gate wherever he said he glimpsed a silhouette illuminated by the light of the city. Which would imply that the Inquisitor came from north of the eastern gate, not south. But it cannot be so. That way lies not but a deep chasm. Says not Mr. the Inquisitor's behavior at that night makes absolutely no sense, at least to me, may have retracing his steps while shed light on this mystery. Search the area outside the main doorway. Now here's the thing of remembering how to get over there. Yep, humans. Which one is it gonna give us? Oh, let's get given this one. Okay. Say hello. Then we'll go ahead and see what's gonna give us. This guy is going straight on ahead. Um. Don't you think it'd be a... But... What? What is this guy doing? My guy, we gotta get... Guys? We have stuff we need to get! Okay. Yeah, we don't have... We need the key! You! In there! Now! Lol, he says. Well, why is he coming after me? Why is he coming after me? Why is he coming after me?
Anyone get the key? Okay, good. You don't need to open every door. Thank you for wasting a key. That sound. I don't need either. Okay.
gods. Here comes another one. Um... Oops, stay all that, stay all that, stay all that. Is just like focusing on not dying. Looks like it. Don't increase. Okay, cool. No, die at We have um Chris return.
he's been going for a while, okay. No, I want that one. Thank you. Okay. That. That. I have these. That. Do that. Do that. Turn these off. You're kidding me. I love my break with break. Oh. Okay. Nice. Your things, sir. Is he just gonna let the time run out? Like, I pick the things I really like. The cups. Thank you. Duty. Sheesh. Look, I'm in a gear. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Okay. Can you find gear? Yes. Because sometimes recommended doesn't always work because you want to have a high um item level too. Okay, you know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Both are... Equip? Where is there a merchant? Where is the merchant? Is there a merchant? I don't think there's a merchant here. There's, uh... Oh, there is! He's right over here! Uh... Purchase battle gear... I'm not going with that. Oh, 
would be purchase items? Nope, that's fishing stuff. Um, purchase weapons, purchase toolies. Not left, got nothing in the way of jewelry. Okay. Anyways, back to what we were doing. Um, we go this way. Options for the assigned gear. Okay. So we gotta get over there. Now, do I remember how to get down? Um. Obviously not this side. I gotta figure out how to get over there. Hmm. This is gonna take a minute or two or three, maybe five. There should be a way across over this way. Is it down here? Yes. And again, go we Do that. Okay, while they take care of that one, I'm gonna work on this one. Inquisitor Corpse. And what do you know? It looks like somebody we know. Okay, let's go ahead and take this to Al. And not fall on our way back. Going this way. You found something, didn't you? Well, don't keep me waiting in suspense. Let's see. You give me this kind of the just make the acquaintance of the real Inquisitor Gilmer. Newly come to Corcius and murdered on the day of his arrival, yes, it would have been a simple thing to assume his identity, for even if it were he were to behave oddly, he would dare question the wisdom of Papa appointment. So while this is incredible proof that the Inquisitor is an imposter, we have yet to discern his true identity. For why he decided to oppose us, we must proceed quickly and with this before he learns that his deception has been discovered. Switch you out with the Book of Mithril. Option. Reassign gear. Because if I were to do recommended, it would bring back the two weathered items. Which I kind of don't want at the moment. Um, 
Armor chest. Swords. We're gonna have to start giving some of our books away. Or not away, but like put them in with our uh, retainers. Now I think I'm going to call it to an end of stream today because we have been going for a little bit longer than normal. We're almost at the three hour mark. So we'll continue tomorrow. Thursday's up in the air at the moment, but thank you for hanging out and I will see you guys sometime tomorrow. See ya.